Now we will machine the chamfers in the corners of the part. So I have already created 2D contouring operation. I have already set up the job assignment for it. As you can see, this, all these edges in the corners are in job assignment. The surface is top and bottom level. And here we have a problem. We have a part gauge here, the huge one. And of course we don't need this part gauge. So uh, we can, uh, besides editing this little element for toolpath extension, we can also edit uh, start and end point manually into the contouring operations. Just dragging this little uh, circle and this arrow. So in order to make our chamfers to be machined correctly, like this. Okay, that's it. Okay, and here we cannot make the approaches using curves or arcs, so we will make it straight. How do we do it? It's very easy. So now I'm editing approach. I right click on the approach and change it from by arc to by line. So now all the approaches are not arcs but lines. So, and I can adjust the angle and the length of this approach and it will be applied to all approaches and retracts in this operation because this button is turned on. So this will be fine for me I think. I will reset and calculate the toolpath and I think it is fine for me. Oh, we can see also here is another part gauge, so it was not enough. So I will adjust this area one more time, like this. Okay, reset, run. Okay, everything is fine now. And we have finished the machining of the second setup. Now we can go to simulation page and check what we have.